Welcome, I am Spencer Hall. This is SBNation.com. We are discussing bold experiments in college football. Remember, those who don't have the five-star recruits, they have to play on the edge. They have to do things a little bit differently. They have to do things you might think are dangerously cool. NFL fans, please hit the exits. This is all very interesting and you will not be used to it. Brian Floyd of Coog Center and SBNation.com, please. Mike Leach, Washington State, going to try to win without playing defense because that's kind of his style and the talent level on defense is lacking to say the least. They're missing all their linebackers from last year. They try to start over, new system, and it's not gonna be too pretty. So Leach is gonna try to score all the points and hopefully not give up all the points. Fortunately, he's done that before. Mike Leach is totally comfortable playing without a defense. In fact, sometimes might prefer Paul Meyerberg. Please tell me about the bold experiment 2012 you're looking for. It's not really uh, gonna happen on the field per se. The bold experiment is Vanderbilt. Uh, expecting to go to a bowl game. I think that's bold considering they've never gone to a bowl game back-to-back -back years. I mean, they've never won more than 14 games back-to-back -back years in the modern era. So uh, expecting a bowl game at Vanderbilt takes bold, I think, to a whole other level because it would make history. He's a bold man, too, because remember James Franklin in Facebook photos, posing yeah. with his kids in adorable face paint. You know, it's the kind of thing that as a football fan you would make fun of, but now, like, I sort of wish James Franklin was my dad. Six wins or not, James Franklin's an outstanding father. Bud Elliott, please, tell me about your bold experiment for 2012. Maryland going old school. Only 30 scholarship players, everybody playing both ways. C.J. Brown, quarterback, and safety. Really, what's more old school than having to hire a PR firm to explain your football team's practices? Under Armour, baby. <laughs> Remember, if everything else with Maryland comes back to it, you know, they are protecting this house. 30 scholarship players at a time. Um, a bold experiment at Texas A&M with Kevin Sumlin going offensive with an air raid oriented uh, offense coordinated by Cliff Kingsbury, former Mike Leach quarterback. I mean, just going to the foreigner here, our Pac-12 expert, okay, someone who plays that communist football where they score points. What do you make of this? I love Kingsbury and just his laid back style and he's going to the SEC which is kind of the stuffy league based on defense and Kingsbury is going to come out like a chill bro and just put up points and he's got no backup but he's going to put up points. Bud help me defend America here. I mean Kingsbury shorts not pants maybe maybe for one year. For one year I could see it working. The SEC might be confused not really sure how to handle this whole forward pass thing. I'll give him one year. Paul. I mean, Kingsbury's got a bit of a, like a pompadour, I guess mm -hmm. you'd call it. And if you're in the SEC, that's not going to fly. So get that down and part that over. Um, and also maybe start running the football a little bit because mm -hmm. that hair and the 40 passes are both foreign. I would like to remind you all that the SEC is, in fact, the cradle of the air raid, having welcomed it into Kentucky under Hal Mummy, the godfather of the system itself. So I'm predicting interesting things, if not successful ones. Remember, everyone likes a car crash. Texas A&M may be this year's most spectacular. Uh, I'm Spencer Hall for SBNation.com. Please tell us what you think in the comments of your own bold experiments for the 2012 college football season. Subscribe, and good day to you.